Hey guys and welcome to Little Black Book. Little Black Book, you know what time it is. We're talking to you about Jodie Turner-Smith. I went away and did some research. I was like, you know what, they broke up, it's unfortunate. I remember the first time this dropped, I said, oh, she's with a white guy. Okay, cool. You know, I didn't even realize the guy was from Dawson Creek. Cool guy, I like I like his, um, I like his. Dawson Creek. Um, and they've been married since 2019. It's crazy because this came out they, that they've divorced and unfortunately things have gone... Um, this way, you never want to see people get divorced unless they need to get divorced. So um, it's a sad shame that it's got to this point where they're no longer in a relationship anymore. Um, I'm going to read a little sign sign for you guys as well so you can actually get a bit of the story. But there's something deeper here. And I'm going to do that in part two. But there were signs that this relationship shouldn't have been going ahead. There were signs of some things that were happening that shouldn't have been happening. And we're going to talk about that in part two. But today, part one, we're going to just address the divorce issue, talk a little bit about it. And then that will introduce part two. And make sure you guys are tuned in to this channel. Make sure you like, you're sharing, and you're subscribing to the channel so you get the, the, the breakdowns. I want to break it down for you. Entertainment as well as ed ed educating as well, all right? So if you're new to the channel, like, share, subscribe. Click on that bell button for notification of uploads. And for those of you who are returnees, you already know what it is, baby. You got the minerals. You got the minerals. Stay hydrated. Let's get into the video. Um, I don't want to waste much time. And if you're here, please, we're trying to get to 100k subscribers. So make sure you subscribe. All right. Let's get into this. All right, cool. So I'm going to play this video clip. It's going to initiate a whole conversation. Amazon seller is that keeps the pasty shirts on hand, but she is their core customer. Uh, Did you guys always know that you were destined that you're going to get married? Uh, I knew the moment she asked me. <laughs> she asked. She you? asked me. Yeah. On New Year's Eve, we were in Nicaragua. It was very beautiful, incredibly romantic. We're walking down the beach, and she asked me to marry her. Ah. Uh... Look, whenever this situation comes up like this, whenever you're a woman and, da and dating a man, one of the things that, that in 2023 that's still going on is some level of gender roles, right? A woman asking a man to marry, the woman doesn't hold the keys to marriage. A man does. A woman holds, holds the keys to sex. She is allowed to control the sex aspect. When she wants it, you can have it. But when it's a marriage situation, you can't control that situation. When he wants it, you can have it. And if he's unwilling to give you it, you need to leave his ass alone. But pressuring him to a point where you want to want him to marry you, or dialing to the point where you pretty much propose, and that's the way he worded it. Notice the way he worded it. She didn't actually propose, because actually what happened was I think he ended up proposing to her. But what he actually is describing is a feeling. She was so pushy enough with the situation, so aggressive. Let I me mean, not say aggressive as a black woman, but so um, uh, assertive enough with pushing that I want to be married situation, right, that... He felt like he wasn't proposing to her anymore. She was proposing to him. It's a feeling because it actually didn't happen. He proposed to her. So she didn't physically propose. But the reality is that he felt so cornered that he ended up proposing. And of course, he could have said, no, you're absolutely right. He could have said, I don't want to do it. But the de-escalation of the relationship would have been much more difficult. But not only that, I don't know if he knew how to, I, I, don't, know if, I don't know how, I don't know if he knew how to, to, to de-escalate the situation. And maybe he wanted to be married, but maybe he was scared about it. But but for me to come out and on the internet, on a, on a national television, on a big ass platform and say that, you know what, your wife proposed to you, knowing how that's embarrassing for a lot of women. Of course, it might not sound like it, but for a lot of women, it's embarrassing. Number two, also, it actually starts and signals the beginning and the end of that relationship because most men have a level of pride and ego and do not want their women proposing to them. Do not do it. You know, the power of a woman is the ability to suggest and to receive. Receive the engagement. Don't give me the engagement. Men are supposed to do that. Masculine men are supposed to do that. Feminine women are meant to receive the proposal. Men are meant to give it. So if you're a man out there, don't wait for your wife to give it to you. Go and give it to her. That's what it's meant to be. So for her to do that, she was living in her masculine to want to do that where she procured him. Now, I think she really, I think she, I think she really liked him. I think she was liking him a lot more than he probably liked her i think she was in deep quicker than he was and that also forced her hand to want to get him to marry her um I, I, I was on i'll read the instagram post quickly and then i'll read another article kind of bring a bit of uh understanding of what happened but um so according to let's read this according to reports Queen and Slim star Jody Turner Smith has filed for divorce from Dawson's Creek actor Joshua Jackson, 45, after three years of marriage. As one might expect, she cited irreconcilable differences as a reason for the separation. The petition also reportedly said Jody Turner Smith was 50 50 uh, 
wants 50 50 shared custody of the three year old daughter. As of now, it's unclear why the pair's relationship really ended. However, a few weeks ago, they were all smiles as they attended an event for JC Crew. Reports also claim Jodie Turner, Smith, Joshua Jackson were spotted together around the same time celebrating Jodie's 37th birthday. For the most part, the former couple remained quiet about the ins and outs of the relationship. However, in 2021, they did face a little criticism when Joshua Jackson shared that Jodie Turner, Smith, was the one who proposed. During a conversation with late night talk host Jimmy Fallon, Joshua revealed she asked me, yeah, on New Year's Eve, we were in Nicaragua, Nicar um, uh, and it was very beautiful, incredibly romantic. We were walking down the beach, and she asked me to marry her. Ting, 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 ting. She asked me to marry her. In a follow-up interview, he defended Jodie's decision to pop the big question and said, so I accidentally threw my wife underneath the bus because the story was told too quickly and it didn't give full context. And holy Jesus, the internet is racist and misogynist. Full story on the jasminebrand.com. Now, what's interesting is that he had to go up and he had to go and defend his wife. Why? If she was comfortable enough in enough to be able to propose, why do you have to defend his wife? Right? She if she if she was comfortable in her decision, why do you have to go defend his wife? Right? Because she proposed. Because the reality of the situation is we don't believe in that particular order of things. She forced it. She forced it. She shouldn't have done it. She shouldn't have proposed to him because now he feels pressured. And he wasn't honest about it, saying, I feel pressured at this moment to propose to you. And thus, now I'm going to probably drag my feet and be passive aggressive throughout the course of the whole relationship because I didn't really want to be here. And that's going to cause an issue long term in the relationship. But there's something else which I want to share now what I'm going to address in part two, because this was interesting to me. Okay. I want to see this, right? Um, let me see this. Uh, let's put this here. Let me see if I can, let's see if I can fully get this correct. Okay, cool. So they began their relationship this way. When I, she said, when I first met my husband, we had a one night stand turner smith revealed on late night with seth mayers in 2021 we were in a two three year one night stand now right we're in a two three year one night stand but when they began their relationship it was a one night stand they had seen each other obviously before that at an usher party in 2018 and they connected instantly quote unquote or at least he found her attractive she found him attractive right but they then had a one night stand i don't know why they would call it a one night stand if they didn't connect after i'm a bit confused because if you guys met each other in 2018 in usher's party in i think it was november why would it be a one night stand right because that would be confusing for me um, but i guess maybe they had none of them none of them had any intentions of taking a relationship any further potentially right in august 2019 jackson smith, turner smith sparked rumors of an imminent wedding when they appeared to pick up a marriage license in beverly hills and then they tied the knot in december 2019 so when they are when she asked to propose listen october 2018 they were ashes party okay all right whatever whatever by november 18 2018 they're spotted in july or Lake los angeles but by january 2019 look october when they first met, okay, right, to January, suddenly, let's get married. That is way, 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 way soon. Then they're talking about, uh, um, then they obviously like disc more rumors about marriage are being sparked. And then they, they tied a knot, obviously, in uh, December. Uh, time as well right they get married there and then they have a baby bump in 2020 um with their child right so that is something that i had to pay attention to i was like the timing is very very quick i think somebody likes somebody more than the other and this is why we're here why we're here right now but listen i'm gonna tell you straight please don't propose to men let them propose to you and if you've got a time limit of how of how long you want to do it you you have that in your head and you say listen if he's not proposing let me get going I don't want to force you, but I've got to go going. No, no, it's okay. You know, you're not ready for it. And that's okay. Simple as, you know what I mean? If they're not, why are they not discussing that from the very beginning? Why are they not talking about timelines? Why are they not talking about when they want to get married to you? We, you should be having that conversation before you enter a relationship. So are you a person who wants to get married? Okay, what would be your timeline if you get married? Mine would be like, all right, I'm trying to get married within a year. You know what I mean? I'm trying to even do it probably even less because I've matured. I know exactly what I want. I need to go into it. Like I'm set up. Okay, I'm ready to go. You know what I'm saying to you? So, like, share, subscribe, click on the bell button for notification uploads. We appreciate you guys. Stay locked to the